Tell them what we're doing, buddy. <laughs> Tell them what's going on. This is all public. Yeah, this is all public. It looks like we're walking on the farmer's field. But nope, the farm. It's all public access, the whole thing. Yeah, it's all public. Uh, as Hunter said, we're out on some public land tonight looking for some birds for early teal season. And we might try to get some younger kids out for the youth hunt. Generally, we, uh, we hunt a lot of dry fields, not a big water guy. We've had a few bad experiences such as Hunter falling out of the boat at 29 degrees outside had to strip down into his skimmies we all had to take clothes off and give him a pair of our socks and t-shirt he actually ended up staying out for the whole hunt which was pretty impressive because it was pretty damn cold well we had some new guys out and I wasn't gonna take a chance on ruining their hunt so being the guide quote unquote. Uh, you know, I didn't want to ruin the hunt, so we stayed out there. We got our four man limit of geese and called our quits in about a half an hour and I was able to get back to a nice warm truck and get home and get some new clothes on. <laughs> So besides hunting public land this year, a lot more of it, the other thing we'd like to do is get a lot more videos. Whether it's just a quick vlog of us scouting like this, training the dogs, or just hanging out the night before we all get together and go hunting. But last year, when I really decided I wanted to start recording, I also got a dog. So my main focus was training Grizz and just getting him accustomed to being out in the blind, being out in the field and retrieving birds. So hopefully this year he'll be spot on. Things will be a little bit different. We'll get a lot more footage and upload them to the old YouTube. We haven't been hunting waterfowl too long, but I think we started sophomore year of high school, so that would have been 2012. So we got about six, this will be our seventh, seventh or eighth year, I think. The first couple years <laughs> was pretty laughable. We sucked. We, we were terrible. We would go, we would walk the dike road, sit on the dike road like 10 feet off of it, and just watch Woody's just buzz past us and have no idea what we're doing wrong. Have like probably a dozen decoys just thrown in random spots where we could reach them. We didn't have, yeah, we didn't have waders. My camera keeps cutting out my recordings and I don't know why. So there's something I gotta learn. That's a problem. Last year the geese, early season would come right off the little pond right here. Not all of them, but a few times. You get a couple groups and they'd feed right here not very far from the roost and we don't like that just like that that's how they do it it's like 
Hopefully they're not roosting here this year and we can maybe just get a little teal hunt out of it. We bust a goose or two for early goose. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but we're mostly out here for teal this year. We'll keep an eye on this throughout the season for geese and the old green heads. Well, two just went back in the hole that we came from. Here comes some right here, Hunter. Look at this. That's what we like to I see. Grab that duck. Dude, I really wanted to jump up and grab it. That would, that would really, really suck if I didn't just catch that. If you didn't see, and if I didn't catch it, we just had like six I birds. I could've went like this and caught <laughs> a, a hen. Just buzz right past us, come right over the ridge. No more than two feet over our heads. Oh, they were, they were almost touching the grass. I forgot my boots. Just kind of like how you forget your gun. So, we're gonna try to get up on this ridge. The pond should be 50 yards. We were right here. Chris loves being out here, don't you? You love it. So the one problem that we have with this piece is if you go on Onyx, it'll, it says waterfall restoration area and then the seasons rotate. So sometimes they have it open, sometimes they don't. Last year we came out here before we knew that. We got out here that morning, got out of the truck and this, there's a little sign up in the tall grass and it's said no waterfall hunting, which it didn't say that on the map. So that was a little upsetting. So now this year we're gonna have to, we're gonna call, we'll probably call the DNR right after we get to the truck here. But there's no signs up in the parking lot this year that say anything about not hunting it for waterfall. Luckily last year we had a little banger hole we could go to as a last, as a battle. There's no, no trapping to, during waterfall. Yeah, this right here, I don't know if they just, I mean, it's a beautiful spot, exactly where you want to see birds. Multiple potholes, food sources all around. I'm not a crop expert. I just go where the birds are. And if they're eating it, they're going to be in there the next day. And I like that. Anyways, we're going to call the DNR. See what's going on with this piece, because it looks pretty promising. We saw a couple flocks in there tonight. I don't know if I got it on camera, but the one group was pretty sweet, right over our heads, about two feet high. I really hope it's on camera. 